Hello, my name is Autumn. I'm the owner of Autumn Acres Mini Pet Pigs in Minerva, Ohio. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, the goal of my channel is to give pig owners the confidence to be able to care for their pig in a way that allows their pig to thrive. I want your experience with your pig to be positive and not negative. So the topic of this video is dry skin. Pigs naturally have dry skin. So when we scratch them, a lot of times the skin looks like it's snowing off of them. And, and that is pretty normal. Um, they do have dry skin due to the fact that they don't have a lot of sweat glands. And so they, they naturally stay pretty dry. So in order to, for a pig to have beautiful skin and a beautiful coat, they need three things. They need a healthy environment, a proper diet, and proper skin care, similar to us as people. So what we're going to touch on first is number one, point number one, and that is a healthy diet. So they're not all food, pig foods are created equally. Um, I know that I have favorites. Uh, I know that you probably have your favorites, but I'm going to tell you that um, one I really don't like is Missouri. Missouri is pushed by a lot of breeders and it's pushed by a lot of pig people. Um, it's actually a Purina. It's made by Purina, which I'm not against Purina. I do feed um, a Purina pig food to my pigs, but the Missouri food is technically considered a potbelly pig food. And I feel like they removed a lot of the fat. And due to that, it causes a lot of terrible skin conditions for pigs. It causes a lot of eye weeping. Um, it causes a dull coat and dull eyes. I don't like it. I don't care for it. Um, so if you're watching this video and your pig eats that food, then it's time to try a different food. Um, Purina makes a pig and sow, which is not made for mini pigs, but it is a, um, it's a complete well-balanced pig food. Um, technically it's for farm sows and they're their piglets. And so ever since I switched to that, my pig's coat is just beautiful. Kombach makes a wonderful feed. Um, they have a technically, I think it's, I forget if they call it a potbelly pig food or a mini pig food. It's the same thing. Um, I think it's called squeals of delight or, um, I don't feed that. I actually feed their, um, family sow and family food. Um, remember a pig is a pig and just because it's a mini pig doesn't mean that the nutritional, um, the nutritional requirements that their body needs are any different. Okay. Yes. They're on a smaller scale. So we would never want to feed anything like a grower or a grower finisher. That is not what we want. Those have a lot of sugar in them in order to fatten a pig up and keep them eating. We do not want those. What we want is a balanced, complete feed that has the nutrients our pig needs with as little fillers as possible. Sharps makes a great feed. Oink box makes a great feed. Um, there are several that are really good. There's also um, nature's best. Uh, it's a purple bag at tractor supply. A lot of people feed that. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. Um, there are quite a few foods that are really good. I would just stay away from Missouri if my pig has really bad skin. Now, if your pig eats it and they do great, fine. All pigs are different. But that's just what I choose to, to stay away from. Also, because pigs are foragers and scavengers in the wild, and they have very specific nutrient needs, for example, selenium, um, the amount they need is just right. So these foods are made for them. And so it's really hard to try to come up with your own feed. Now, if you want to supplement their feed with um, different things, veggies and, and greens and things like that. Great. But it's really difficult to 
put their food together in a way that's just right for their body. So I tend to stick more towards the foods that are made for pigs. Number two, supplements. Um, I find that dry skin usually has an internal cause. Now, yes, it can happen if it's very dry outside, the environment is dry. Um, it can happen. A sunburn can cause extremely, um, dry patches and the skin to peel. Um, also parasites, can cause skin to be horrifically dry and itchy and cracked and sores. Um, these are like extenuating circumstances. Just in a normal everyday life of a pig, most of their skincare needs are going to come from their diet. They're going to come internally. So um, they also get a lot of their nutrients from the dirt and the soil, which is quite depleted today. So they're not getting what they need. So what we're going to do is if we have a pig that has very dry skin and we're very concerned about it, then there are some supplements that we can give them. So what are those? Um, so B vitamins are very good for the skin. So there you could, there are different things that you can do. I prefer when I give my pig a supplement, if at all possible, I prefer the food that has a lot of this vitamin in it to supplement their diet, because with vitamins, it is, you do have to be very careful vitamins and minerals. You don't want to overdose them and you don't want to make them sick. So when it comes to B vitamins, um, I like to give something called nutritional yeast. It's a bag ground up and it has like a cheesy flavor to it. It's for people. It, it's a seasoning for people. And I think a lot of vegans use it on their um, foods because it does taste like, uh, it has like a cheesy taste to it. It tastes kind of, it tastes good. Um, so what I do is I just reach my hand in the bag and I pinch some up and I sprinkle it on my pig's food and they love it. Another thing I do is sometimes I just sprinkle it on the floor and they kind of just have to eat it. They go crazy for it. It's, it's so delicious. So they really like that. Um, also, um, there are a couple of different things that you can look for, like a biotin, something with trace minerals in it. Um, these are things that can help your pig's skin because they have B vitamins in them. Another thing that you could supplement your pig's diet with is fat. Many times, um, as people, we think that fat is bad and it's going to make us or our pig fat. In reality, um, many of our hormones are created from fat and our brain is made of cholesterol. So it's very important that we have dietary fats that we eat them. <laughs> so when it comes to our pig, you know, many people give their pig coconut oil. That's not my favorite way to give fats. Um, I like to give my pigs, if I have a pig that is just Usually it's because it's a pig that I've rescued and it just has horrific skin. Um, then what I'll do is I'll actually give them beef tallow, a little bit of beef tallow once a day in their diet. Now you don't want to give them too much because it can cause diarrhea, but just a little bit in their diet. Oh my gosh, you would be shocked at how much better their skin looks in just a couple weeks time. Remember, if you have a pig with severely dry skin, it is not going to change overnight. It takes time. So it can take up to six weeks for a pig's skin to really start looking better. Um, and again, I don't give a lot. I just give about one tablespoon a couple times a week. Um, something else that I like to give my pigs would be like either vitamin E supplement. And I just buy them on Amazon. If I, if it's a piglet or a small pig, I buy the real small capsules. If it's a bigger pig, then I'll buy the bigger pack capsules. My pigs tend to like fish oil better than vitamin E. Um, they love the taste of it. They think it's a treat and they just go to town on it. They love it. I just give them the capsule just like I would a treat. And I tend to not give pigs younger than six months old, um, any kind of like straight oils, like fish oil, vitamin E oil, or tallow, 
or a lot of coconut oil because they are small and it can cause diarrhea. So I'm pretty careful about that. Um, okay. So when it comes to fish oil, I don't buy any that are burpless or that have anything else added to them. Just simply fish oil is what we want. And, um, again, my pigs love it. All right. Other things that we can add to their diet would be fresh greens, a little bit of fruit, limited fruit, and just making sure that their pellets are um, high quality. Oh, we don't want any that brag about all the fat being taken out of it. All right. So that was number two. Number three, something very, very important to our pigs, just like us, is outside time. So as pigs lay in the sun, you know, their body receives that sunshine and the liver converts it into vitamin D. And so then they're able to um, be healthy, much healthier. Um, sunshine on the skin is really good for it. Also, making sure that they have time outside to where they can actually be standing or laying on the earth. Super, super important for um, pigs that are house pigs that don't get outside very often. They need time outside. I have a podcast episode on this. I did an interview with a man named Clint Ober, and we talked about the importance of animals' feet being on the ground and what that can do for them. Um, it's very, very healing, believe it or not. And it's really important for pigs to have time outside where they can get even just their physiology depends on the climate and what is happening. So that is how a pig's body knows to blow their coat. That is how a pig's body knows what it's doing so that they can be comfortable and so that they can be healthy. Now, number four, the last point is um, just a couple tips to help our pig deal with deal deal with dry skin um, or maybe help it to get a little bit better. There are things that we can do um, internally and outside. So first of all, internally, we want to make sure they're hydrated. Obviously, in order to have nice, beautiful skin, you have to have hydration. Um, I also mentioned that if your pig is having, is like so itchy, they're literally scratching on everything. They are creating sores. Then they need to be treated for mites because, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. It does happen to pigs. They're easily picked up from outside, from hay, from other animals, from the vet's office, from all kinds of things. It's nothing to be ashamed of. So they need to be treated with ivermectin. Um, and you can buy that on Amazon. You can buy that at Tractor Supply. Um, you want it specifically for swine and cattle, not for horses and not a pour on. You want something that's taken internally. Um, and there's also a skin and coat supplement um, by Do More. It's called the Do More Skin and Coat Supplement. You can buy it at Tractor Supply. It's very cheap. I believe it's under $10. And it is a game changer for pigs. It is fantastic for um, supporting their uh, skin and coat. And if you don't want to mess with supplements, you don't, you're worried about buying them, you're worried about giving them to them, you're worried about overdosing them, then just buy this because the Do More Skin and Coat Supplement is fantastic. Just stay up on it. Um, and so then what about external things that we can do? Um, have you ever seen those scrubby mitts? Um, they're like a silicone and they have these little um, scrubbies on them. And so what I do is I use it in the bathtub for my pig normally, but when, if my pig has really dry skin, then what I'll do is I'll take it outside because I don't want that skin all over my tub or all over the house. So we take it outside. We have a nice little rub down for her. Um, sometimes I will put something on her skin. I have some lotion I use sometimes. Um, I like the piggy poo and crew shampoo. And I also like their coconut oil that they, it's like a coconut balm, coconut oil balm. They smell fantastic. And I'm not a huge fan of putting just like lotions and coconut oil on my pig because they come in the house and they just wipe it all over everything and makes a mess. It's all over the floor and it's slippery. So 
I prefer to do things internally, but there are times when I'm like, okay, girl, you need some lotion, <laughs> you know? So I will use the lotion that I get from Oinkbox. It's a lavender vitamin E lotion. It's really nice. I like the Piggy Poo and Crew coconut oil um, balm. I just put it on their skin and then I use my scrubby mitts to just kind of rub it in. And she just kind of goes limp because she it, it feels so good to her. So I do that if I have to. And you can kind of just help to, if you have a pig that has really, really bad dry skin, then that can help to um, get some of that off so that that new skin can regenerate and they can feel better. Also, um, a soft bristle brush can also work. Um, and if you do it like two or three times a week, they're literally going to love you. Um, another thing is that because we don't want our pig getting too much sun, right? Um, about 20 minutes a day is great. Um, as long as it's straight sun and it's not, um, through a window because sunlight through a window, it changes the spectrum. So it doesn't have as much, it doesn't have the benefit that just direct sun has. But if we have a light colored pig, we need to be very aware of the fact that, um, our pig can get sunburn. All pigs can get sunburn. Lighter colored pigs are more susceptible to it. So it's important that we do put some sunblock on them or make sure that they have shade. Just because they have shade doesn't mean they're going to lay in it. My pigs lay in the straight sun for hours. And so I try to get some sunblock on them if I can. They don't really like the spray sunblocks. Um, so I use a natural sunblock um, and I just rub it on my hands and then I give them a nice little rub, especially on things that are going to be directly exposed to the sun. Their ears tend to get um, sunburned easily, the tops of their head and under their mohawk and the top of their back. Um, so I make sure that those are covered. And when I buy sunblock, I always buy a natural sunblock. Um, I try to get a natural baby sunblock if I can find it. Um, but um, an adult sunblock, I sometimes I use that too. And if you're a member of Oinkbox, um, they usually send me a sunblock at least once a year. I'll probably get it next month. <laughs> so those are my top tips. If you're, this is, I get this question literally every day for the past probably 10 years, I've gotten this question. My pig has dry skin. What can I do? Well, it is natural for a pig to have dry skin. So don't panic. Make these small changes in your pig's diet and you will see their skin improve. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comments below. I would be more than happy to answer it for you. And if you need help with your pig, please feel free to reach out to me or watch this video because um, it's going to help you know where you can turn for answers. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you next week.